So yesterday I was at my aunt's house and my cousin called me a lot of times, around 50 times. And it was a little bit frustrating because everyone was frustrated. And so what, ha so what happened is my cousin was at a mental health clinic and she was supposed to stay there for more than a year but for some reason they didn't want her there she was at a she was at a hospital health mental health psychiatric hospital type clinic something like that and then she moved she wanted to switch and from that other clinic was really small they didn't want her there anymore and I they said she was better, so either she signed for herself, supposedly she signed for herself, or someone else signed for her. My aunt did not sign it for her, my uncle did not sign for her, no one signed, no one in her family signed for her to be released, so either she signed for herself and someone wanted to pick her up, which they shouldn't have, because they wouldn't have let her out, so I'm pretty sure someone signed for her, because... You know, you have to go to court and all that to, to go through that. So someone signed for her. And my aunt wasn't home. She was on vacation for the summer. And next thing you know, they tell me, oh, she got out of the clinic. And I was telling everybody, what? Why? You know, she's still, like, ill. So... I don't understand why they did that, so... I talked to her yesterday and she told me that she thinks some person signed for her. Uh, she said a name, but I don't know who it was. And... Yep, so... She called me like 50 times and... I answer her all the time, you know. I was answering and answering and I was video chatting with her, you know. She likes video chatting. And then... I was... I don't know, like, they they got, they got kind of frustrated, like, her mom and her brother, because she calls a lot, and she just calls and calls and calls, and they're frustrated at her, and she's frustrated, and they're just frustrated. Every, everyone's frustrated. And so what happened is, what happened, let's see. Oh, yeah, they're telling me, don't answer her calls anymore. Just don't answer them, you know. You know, she's going to keep calling you. That's what my cousin told me. Told me. I was like, oh, okay, you know. But I, I don't know, I felt like I needed an answer. And yeah, and then I, was t I told her like before I, like on Monday, I guess, or like before. I don't know, I told her on Monday. Or like, I told her that I was uh, like, oh, like, oh, we're going to go visit you. Me and my brother were gonna go visit you in your aunt's house for a little bit on like on a Sunday and then she's like, Yeah and I told my aunt, Oh, we're gonna go visit her and it's just it's so complicated, you know. So I don't know, like so I what I'm so yeah, that happened and you know, I said, I'm, I started thinking like why and what what is it that I feel, you know? And I kind of started thinking, like, last night, and I was like, I think, I think it's guilt, you know what I mean? I feel guilt, you know? I, and I was like, I don't think my aunt and my cousin and my uncle understand, you know what I mean? They don't understand, even though... You know, so... The way I was looking at it is like... And that's how I tell everyone. And I don't tell anyone, but I try to insinuate or just try to... Say it, you know, like the way I see it is, oh, you know, my brother killed himself and, you know, no one was really there, you know, we all left him alone and, and, um, you know, it's like, he probably needed, he needed someone or something, I don't know. And the way I see it was, I guess, I feel guilt, you know, because of what happened. I feel guilt and 
I guess I kind of, I don't know, I feel guilt, and then the, there's my cousin, you know, um, you know, I feel like guilt, like, oh, I need to answer, I need to answer her, her calls, and, you know, she wants to video chat so she could see her mom, you know, so it's like, I feel like guilt if I don't answer her call, I feel like anxious if I don't, you know, I feel like that, you know, it's like, I feel like, I need to, I feel like I need to, like, you know, out of guilt, I don't know if, it, you know, I think it's out of guilt that I do all that, you know, and I tell my brother, well, we need to go see her, you know, even though I don't feel like going to see her, I, even though I don't feel like going to see her, I feel guilt, you know what I mean, I feel guilt if I don't, and then I tell my brother, hey, we're going to go see my, my cousin, and she's like, oh, I don't know, because my girlfriend worked that day, and I was like, and then I feel guilt, because we're not going to go see her, so it's like, oh my god, like, it's guilt everywhere, you know, it's like, I feel like, pressure, and it's like, oh, we, so, I told her we are going to go see her, and now we're not going to go see her, I didn't tell him that, but I was going to tell him, like, I told, you know, I was going to tell him, like, I was going to tell him, I told her we are going to go see her, so we're not going to see her, you know, it's like, and I was going to tell him, what if that was your brother, you know what I mean? So I was like, I was, just, I was, I was like, I'm, I'm doing too much, so I was like, whatever, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. So I was like, it's just frustrating, you know, one time I did tell him, you know, I'm mean? like, oh, we need to see your cousin, because what if that was your brother, you know what I mean, what if that was him, you know, and it's just so frustrating, you know, I don't think they understand, how, you know, even though, even though my mom's sister, you know, her, her nephew killed himself, I don't think, I don't know, like, does she see that with her daughter, you know what I mean, like, it's just hard, you know what I mean? She, she, she gives them attention, but she's frustrated because she has to deal with other stuff. So it's like, it's very complicated. And it's like, what if, sometimes they don't answer her calls, you know what I mean? If you're dealing with a mentally ill person and you don't answer their calls, you know, that's kind of scary, you know? Because when I, when I went to visit my cousin, she was like, this was like a couple of months ago. It might have been over the summer, it might not, it might not have been. She was like, oh, I'm gonna kill myself. I have a knife. I was like, okay, I was all stressed out. I was like, oh my God, what is she saying? She's like, I'm gonna kill like my brother. She said my na my brother's name. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, uh, this is so uncomfortable for me. And I can't deal with this. And, you know, I feel like I get like, I get, um, you know, like, I feel like nervous. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, why aren't you answering her calls? You know what I mean? I feel like, even though she ever tells me, like, when she calls, like, she was calling and I was just, I, I, I told her, I'm going to put you here on the table and you can watch everything and you can listen to everyone. But I have to do something and I would leave the phone there. And she would wake, she would just look and scream. And, and yeah, so I was like, so, so they go, I don't know, I guess, you know, they don't, I don't know if they see it like that, you know what I mean? Like, you have to be careful with your child, you know, it's like, answer her cause, you know what I mean, what if she, I don't know, like, what if you don't get to talk to her tomorrow, you know, you're gonna regret that, or I don't know, like, I am, it's, it's guilt that I feel, it's like, you know, I feel that, it's like something that I, something that I, um, how do you say it? I went through that, you know, we, my fam, we went through that, so, so it's like, it's just frustrating, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you know, I answer my, all my cousin's calls, you know. I, I tell my, I always tell my brother, hey, did you call my cousin? Hey, talk to my cousin. Hey, this and that, you know. It's like, oh, I always have to tell them everything, you know. Why can't you do it yourself, you know? It's like, I don't understand why he can't call her, you know. It's like, it's my guilt, you know what I mean? That, that, that I feel this, I feel like this, because I feel guilty, you know what I mean? It's like, my, I don't know, like, at the same time, I don't want to feel guilt, you know what I mean? I don't want to feel like, like, I'm doing this. I talked to my cousin only because of what happened to my brother and, you know, like, guilt and I've, what, she, what she's going through. You know, I don't want her to be like that. I just want to be like, oh, not think about that and just, you know, visit my cousin whenever. It's like, oh, hey, we're going to go visit you. Let's go out, blah, 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 you know, and that's it, you know? Not think about like, oh my God, this and this, a crisis, blah, 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 you know? I don't want to think about any of that, you know? I just don't want to feel guilt, I just want to... 
have a good time, relax, be be at peace, you know what I mean? But it's complicated and you know that's you know I didn't tell my I didn't tell my aunt and uncle like I answer all her calls because of what happened to my brother. You know what if he's not what if you know they want to come to say goodbye or something like that I don't know like it's very complicated. You know like I don't want to make things uncomfortable for anyone. Right? Life is stressful as it is, so it's like you know I just they don't see it like that, but. You know, if it happens with my cousin, you know, it's going to be hard for them. So, uh, I don't know what to do, you know, I don't know how to deal with it. That's why I tell my brother, oh, you should call her, blah, 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 answer her calls, it doesn't matter. You know, but I don't think, you know, we all have to deal with stuff. I don't think they like pay attention too much to the situation. You know, they, like my brother's. Tells me, I tell him, oh, you know, I tell my brother, oh, you should have talked to my brother. He's like, yeah, but I, I had stuff going on. I was busy at work. I'm like, okay. So I think that's everyone's excuse, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm busy, blah, blah, blah. When no one's really busy at all, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know how to explain it. But, um, yeah, it's just... It's hard. Everything's hard. Life is hard. And it sucks. I don't know if we'll visit my cousin this week. Hopefully we do. But if we don't, we don't. I don't know. I don't know. So, and she wanted to go to Vegas. She, we told her, oh, hey, when you get out of the clinic, we're going to take you to Vegas. So, we haven't gone to Vegas. Hopefully we plan a trip to Vegas. We'll see. And... Yeah, it's so stressful, you know what I mean? The whole situation is stressful. Life is so stressful. You know, having mental illness in your family is hard. You know, having, you know, I know that it runs in my mom's family now, you know, before, you know, it's obvious that it runs in my mom's family, you know, that mental illness comes from my mom's family, that it's genetics. It has to do with, you know, your mind is fucked up in there. You can't fix that, you know. Something you can't fix with a pill. Something you can't fix. You know, you you could. You could fix it temporarily, but you can't fix it permanently. You're gonna be fucked up for the rest of your life, and it's hard. So. Um, that's that. You know. That's why I answer her call. So. Learn from this, if anyone's watching. Learn from this. You know, because it's true. You know, what, I mean? what if she calls and makes her last call and no one picks up? You know pick up <laughs> you never know right you know when someone does it someone does it for whatever reason you know what I mean it's it's hard so uh, that's just my opinion I don't know what to say it's very the topic is very complicated and very hard and that's it that's all I wanted to share